Hey watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. Today I have for us the Grand Seiko SBGE295 with the uh, lovely bicolor or two-tone uh, sapphire bezel here, which I really do like the white with uh, with this green. So case dimensions on this, I measured straight across the three to nine across the case at 43.8 millimeters. And then the crystal I measured at an even 31 millimeters. And so again, that's not from the outside of that stainless steel kind of, I'm not gonna call it a chapter ring, but it's it's inside of that. So you have a wider case, but the actual uh, crystal it would not indicate or the viewing of the dial is, uh, is quite smaller than the case at 31 millimeters, which I think makes this more wearable for some folks. We have a 14.8 uh, millimeter uh, thick case. 50.4 from lug tip to lug tip, 22 millimeter lug width. That tapers down to 18 here at the last link, and then back out to 20 millimeters at the clasp itself. We have the fold over uh, dual push button deployment, so 20 millimeter thick at the at the um, the clasp here. We got a solid stainless steel case back with the Grand Seiko Lion logo emblem in the middle. And underneath there is the Spring Drive 9R66 movement, 72 hours of power reserve. We have a signed screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance. Retails for $6,200 and on the full stainless steel bracelet here, no links removed, 185.1 grams. Speaking of links, we do have uh, screws uh, and it does look like we have micros here uh, in the tape so it looks like one two three we got four positions for micro adjustment and we do have half links so should be able to get a pretty good fit bi-directional bezel uh, I failed to mention earlier the GMT movement on the 9R66 so spring drive GMT movement uh, which is Obviously, you have the 24-hour bezel here. And again, bi-directional. Trying to show you the texture of this green. Very reminiscent of the same texture you would find on the, uh, the 413 um, spring model or the winter model. Just a different color, obviously. And again, the lighting in here, I apologize, gang, is not the best, but uh, hopefully you can see this. This watch does look better uh, underneath our, our lights out on our sales floor. And I will certainly do a wrist roll out there with that lighting and uh, and post that as a short, like I have been doing with a lot of these videos. So um, if you want to see the dial in that, that'll really pop in that video. But regardless, I think it's a great looking watch. Again, it might be a little large for some, myself included, uh, but I do like the look of it. Let me throw it on wrist. As always, six and three quarter inch wrist. You guys probably get tired of hearing me say that, but for newbies or anyone watching that is not familiar with that, hopefully uh, you get to look at it. Let me grab the lights for you real quick. Favorite part of the video right here is the white pearl. That sapphire bezel is loomed. I love seeing that. GMT hand is loom, and then you have your cardinal markers at your 12, 3, 6, 9. Uh, so again, I do like the uh, that bezel and the, uh, the loom here, just a touch of it on your Grand Seiko. So as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. If there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, really, I'm here to help. I appreciate uh, taking the time to help out folks. So shoot me an email if there's anything I can do. Brad at BrentLMiller.com. And we'll see you in the next video.